All right, started this work off out with some curve sprints into fly 10s. So about 15, 20 yard curves into a fly 10 sprint. Did those both directions. Uh, followed those up with some bounding. And then got into the gym and hit some rapid oscillating speed squats there with just the band. So just working on going as fast as you can, relaxing, contracting there. And paired those with some hurdle jump, as you can see. Hurdles are a little beat up, broken too many, so we got a few different colors there. Uh, after those, we went to a, a reverse lunge with a uh, rotation. So, again, not every rep is going to be perfect. Not perfect form. Those first ones, first time doing this with this much weight, uh, again, just awkward. Uh, just adding in a little bit of rotation. You don't have to do the sim simple, just the same thing back and forth or uh, forward and back, up and down all the time. Add in some rotation, mix things up, change little variation, little subtleties make a lot of difference. So, again, working on that balance while turning. A lot of times, even if you're just like running and you turn your head, you get off balance. So adding in these can pay, pay big dividends in the end. Um, but this, this session was focused more on uh, speed and power. I uh, always add a little bit of strength work, a little bit of... Um, hypertrophy, again, all the stuff, you can do all the things in every session, but again, we focus on different things at different times of the year, so focus on speed, rate of force development, and just going faster. RDL here, and I got these from Hunter Eisenhower, and it's just doing, every rep is going to be a little bit different, so you're not going, the typical RDL is straight down, so that might be one of our reps. And then you go a different way. So it's not exactly the same rep every time. Technically, you're never going to have the same rep every time. But this is just purposefully uh, changing every rep up a little bit. So check it out. And again, doing something new, you're not always going to be great at it the first time. You might get a little off balance, get a little wonky here. And that's the thing. These are all different reps anyway. So they're not always going to look the same. Sometimes you might fall. Sometimes you might trip. You might stumble. You might lose your balance. Who cares? We're not perfect. We're not being judged on perfection of a rep or a set, especially when the reps are all supposed to be different anyway. A little hop balance. there, a little stumble here and there. That's about learning. That's everything in life. And that's just a lesson. That's just a life lesson right there. You learn, you go, but you screw up, you make mistakes, and you get better from it. <coughs> then we went into the old uh, iso hold, leg up, working on groin, working on hip flexors here, just getting those good and strong and uh, strengthening them, stretching them out. Two minutes per leg on those. And then we went into ISO hold uh, calf races. So we did two minutes at the top. So really focusing on extending up, getting as high as we can. And then two minutes with the calves uh, at the bottom range too. So you're hitting both, both aspects of the calf raise. And that was today's session. Let me know how you guys thought about it.